Okay, Beamer Merchant, you're looking at the pedal setup out of a 98 BMW M3. This is the uh, five-speed manual, and this is the pedal setup again. We're gonna go ahead and show you how to remove this gas pedal here. We're gonna go through some steps. We're gonna show you the tools we used, and hopefully you guys can go ahead and do a better job than we did here. You know, we, it's, look at that right there. It's a learning experience. You know, our first one here, uh, next one we get, we're definitely gonna perfect it, but learn from our mistakes. Let's get started. This is the pedal. We went ahead and cut part of the floor here to show you guys. I know there's somebody out there right now uh, basically getting on my case because my carpet is dirty. Sorry, we didn't have time to do that. Instead, we're gonna focus on this project. So we went ahead and cut it so you guys can see the base. As you can see, there are some openings. See, there's an opening right there, right there. The main opening that you're gonna focus on is this one here, okay? The center one. So let's go ahead and how would this be? This pedal would be, go this way here. And it would go like this. Now what you need to do here is you need to go ahead and first step, pay attention back here. Behind this section here, on the back side of it, there's a pin on the right side. So what you do is, you go ahead and, um, we already did it here, but we pushed it in. Okay, behind this here, there's a pin. Push it in so it evens out with this section here and then you're able to slide it out like this. Let me go ahead and show you the pin. If I can't, right. Right there, you see this pin? Just push it in, and then you slide, slide it out. It should come out properly. Okay, so once you do that, you're done on this part. So then you're gonna, it's gonna be stuck or attached right here. The mistake we were making is we were trying to go ahead and using our pry bar here and trying to push it up luckily you know we uh, got online as well there was good information we found a write-up that informed us how to do it so thanks for those people out there what you need to do is you need to go ahead and push this pedal forward behind it you're gonna go ahead and find a pin that looks like this okay the pin is let me insert it the way it was we're gonna go ahead and show you this so you guys can go ahead and get a better uh, angle. As you're looking on this section right there, you're gonna be exposed to this tab here. In order to remove this tab, let's see, let's angle it. You will be watching this pedal like this. What you need to do is, you need to go ahead and pull that pin out and slide it out. Okay, so see now that pin is out. The pin's no longer there. So just imagine this bad boy right here. See, the pin is gone. Now all you have to do is wiggle it out. And it should come out right there. As you can see, it attaches still to these tabs right here. So just may have, be sure to have something to uh, pop those pins out. Okay, so if you noticed, I, was, I pull it in. It got stuck right there because of that pin right there. You're also probably going to have the same problem with that pin right here. So what we did here is we got a, a pry bar. You can use a similar tool. You go right there and just very gently slide it out. And it should come out. And this is how it looks. Let me focus on it. It's these pins right here. You see in the bottom? The pins right here, they, they attach to the base right there and right there. So you have to push them out. The way I would do it now that I know how. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and show you how once you remove the center pin, you would just take a flat screwdriver in the back, push it from behind, push those tabs um, out, take that out, pop one out, and then go back there again and pop the other one, and then it comes out. Okay, so that's how you remove the gas pedal out of these uh, older vehicles 
This was the E36 M3. The same process should be the same for most E36 models with the 5-speed setups. Okay, also the same procedure would apply to the 1999-2000 BMW E46 models, the 323 and the 328, and possibly the uh, 98-99 um, BMW E39 5 Series. Or just to be sure, all mechanical body, uh, body throttles, you know, uh, assembly. Throttle body assembly. You guys can go ahead and do this same procedure. If you have any questions, comments, or if you uh, would, would like to recommend us doing a uh, do-it-yourself video, let us know. In the meantime, thanks for watching. You have a great day. Beamer Merchant, out.